Hello, my name is Carl Segreja. I'll be going over a uh, web, web application that I did. Uh, was, this uses HTML, uh, CSS, JavaScript for the front end, PHP for the server side scripting language, and MySQL for the rational database. Um, I'll be going over the database later. This has, as you can see here, you can't select the model. Uh, when I select the year, then it will have the models for that year. This information comes from a database. I'll show that a little more uh, more into that later. It uses many to many relationships. So uh, 1984 has those three models, and it has the same three models here. Uh, so those parts will be the same. So the same alternator part, it will be the same part number, and uh, it will be compatible with uh, both these 1984 and 1985, whichever models, either one of these. Okay, so I just what was that. I would like to address one thing. Uh, this site is not responsive. Uh, as you can see, it's not responsive. And I have my website where, if you look here, you can see these. If I move it, uh, let's say about here. You can see it adjusts uh, according to the screen. So that's good for an Android uh, phone, mobile app. And uh, you can also see it also, depending on the size of the screen, uh, it, it, it accommodates. So I, I do know how to do that. But that's that wasn't the purpose of this application. Basically, uh, it's, I did this a long time ago. And it was just for server side, client side, uh, PHP, learning PHP. So that was the the uh, the purpose of this application. So and I did a lot of database work as well. So uh, I'll try to cover everything I do have on here. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna go to parts page and nothing's selected yet. So please select the R model. I'm gonna actually look up a part number um, so I have my part number as you can see you could, if you know your part number you can come here look up your part number um, and you know add to cart by now um, I want to go here and select let's go 1984 and a 3 series is nice let's do that and I'm gonna hit search run a home page here so if you came here and you're on a home page you can do that and it will take you right to the parts page and you can see that the parts are now showing up and you can select your parts so uh, if you want to look up for that way there's, there's two ways if you're just looking for parts for a particular car so I'm gonna go with uh, let's pick a door okay looks good so we have filters here uh, basically the uh, JavaScript this is a function toggle uh, displays a drop down when you click it, it hides it uh, show all um, it has all of them but if you're looking for a particular thing it has filter items here and you can select a lock um, I'm gonna click add to cart and it says you're not logged in please log in and hit OK so we have to be logged in to buy things um, let's go over to account it looks like we can make an account here for new customer uh, we have a shopping cart here. It says you're not logged in to your account. Please log in to your account to access your shopping cart. And there's a contact. I'll show this. Um, and and basically just a contact. Just going to send some data over and send some data back. And thank you, send successfully, and whatever you information you gave. <coughs> That's all that does. Uh, new customer. <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, this looks good. Uh, sure. It's not any personal information. Uh, I'm going to hit account. <clears throat> Please fill out this. Uh, okay. So we got to fill out last names and last name for that. Um, uh, no, just want to put A and try 
to do this. Okay, let's put in uh, T there, and we already know this works. Um, okay, please include an at. Okay. Um, all right then. Uh, let's do that. Okay, and let's not finish that. And wrong confirm email. So that is on Blur, I believe. It pop up a message. Um, so yeah, just some JavaScript there I wanted to show. Um, I'm not gonna make an account, <coughs> create an account, um, and then obviously access it. But I'll just use. Uh, Um, account I have so return customer um, and uh, if I remember the information there it is so yeah some uh, imaginary data um, and we can update this data it will just change it so uh, if I change an address here and update that should be fine. Um, I'm now logged in. This is now the account, your account page. So whenever you come here, uh, you are logged in, and uh, knows you're logged in. So you, uh, you, you have this general information, just general information, and then uh, for shipping address, you can change that information as well. Billing address, um, and you can store credit cards. Uh, it's all imaginary information. Uh, orders you can see some invoices from your purchases and this is made you know when you purchase something uh, so there's one there um, and you can check out this another purchase I'll I'll make a purchase just to show, show that um, so there's a uh, invoice number four and five so I'll make a purchase um, I'll go with parts and we'll look up that door now that we wanted to buy, so it was a lock, I think. Uh, we'll add one of these locks. Uh, we'll buy one for the right and left. So, um, yeah, this looks good. These match. I'll add uh, one for the right, and we get this. It says add it to cart. Good to know. And this one, I'm gonna hit buy now, and it will take it right to the uh, shopping cart. Uh, so we'll purchase the left one, and now we have a lock for the left, right, and a lock for the left, and. There is the amount, and you can choose the ground. Uh, one day shipping, it's expensive. Uh, ground should be fine. But yeah, there's a drop down there for that. And we're ready to check out. Uh, information looks fine. Same idea, updates. Uh, this looks good, so you can go on to the uh, billing here. So uh, over here we have the billing information. Um, that looks fine. You can change that. Update as well. The credit cards takes credit cards, so I would like to delete this credit card. And it says, please select one of these options. So you have to select the card, um, and we'll add a new one. So that looks good. Um, that's fine. Let's make this a little bit later. There we go. And um, I'll add card. All right. Um, so there you go. It populates cards. You can have uh, more than one. This is credit card one, and then we can populate more than that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and place the order. OK, so it says thank you. Here's your invoice. Uh, the order date, uh, here's the order number, invoice number, um, the two locks that were purchased. Uh, the part numbers, um, the amount of uh, shipping information, billing information, and payment information, and uh, that's the invoice. And um, we can also go back to the account. And if we look at the orders, and we'll see that 16, that order we just made, we can click that and see the invoice for that order that was just made. So that's that. And uh, I think that'll do it for the customer side, the shopping, all of that. I think I covered everything pretty much. Now we can go over to our admin. I have an admin account. Um, um, 
probably do some JavaScript. I'm just gonna hit this and see what happens. Yes. Okay. So it's required. Um, that's all that happens. Um, all right. So now you have pretty much the same idea as the customer. Uh, this is so you have general information of the um, and the employee or anyone um, part of administrations. So there's a general here, which general information that can be updated here. Uh, the database. This actually was just uh, it will take you to a PHP admin, and you can actually access the database. And I'll actually do that and show the um, database so this is the database and you can see there's a lot of tables so the many to many relationship I used was so there'd be more parts and here's year uh, for example and here's a model table and model by year so that would be one way of connecting the year and the model and then it will have its own uh, primary key and then that can be used and then that key for each model year can be used for parts so a part can have be uh, compatible with many uh, of these indexes and basically that's how I did the, the many to many relationship for the parts so as you can see here is the table parts compatible <clears throat> and that's how I did that so um, yeah so and you know for like an alternator and basically they'll have their own parts for you know basic information <clears throat> and yeah that's about it uh, you know customer information billing information all of that stuff um, any images, it looks like any custom orders, stuff like that. <coughs> so that's so you have an idea of the database, and someone could come here and uh, obviously uh, type in some SQL. So and I will uh, populate. So this is how I did like filters, uh, different types of filters. If the part is has a specific uh, filter or and you know uh, part name that could be used uh, for keywords. Uh, looking up keyword, I didn't implement that, but yeah, this is basically how I did this. Um, okay, so that's pretty much uh, some of the database there and. The administrator can come here and log in uh, and check out the database <coughs> or update databases obviously do whatever uh, with the access to the database <coughs> so um, I'll go with the staff and basically staff it's it's empty not really implemented you can add staff uh, didn't really see the point really um, um, because at this point, um, what I wanted to get from this project, get out of this project, uh, I've already gotten. Uh, this would be just, uh, you know, not really going to learn anything. Uh, it wasn't really any anything complicated about, you know, just add staff. Same thing here with the suppliers. Uh, this one actually has add. You can add and, you know, delete, which basically uh, I was going to implement the same idea with the staff. but. Um, this is about as far as I got with this project. Over here, um, this is where the uh, part number is a little more um, useful. Well, it's useful for the other way. Uh, it's useful here so that, um, well, for the for the administrator, anyways. It's useful for the for the customer, obviously, to look up a part real quick without having to put in the information. Um, so that's that's useful. But uh, this is useful because uh, 
we can the the administrator come here and uh, check out. Uh, obviously, look up the parts, any parts uh, for a vehicle, um, and see the information uh, in stock. The the stock min and stock stock max. This is uh, basically a feature to uh, um, notify you know if the inventory is running low and uh, how much it will uh, should be um, stocked up to um, when it needs to be refilled so if it falls below this number it needs to be restocked to at least this number and it will calculate the uh, difference and all that stuff <coughs> and it can it can be done automatically or it can be done uh, manually <coughs> that was the idea so um, I'm gonna click on here and can update some information for this part so I'll uh, change this to 10 because 11 is actually kind of high so I'll just go ahead and uh, set that and it said updated successfully so that's good and you can see it's 10 here um, I'm gonna click that and obviously it's gonna say please enter the required value for this option and that's the other message if you, you click it and there's no more information here I could change the name of the part and price or anything how many is in stock uh, manually but this this gets changed automatically when a purchase is done it gets deducted uh, and things like that that's already into the code already so the stock gets updated automatically when a purchase is made um, and orders basically um, all the orders this here is our order that was just made and uh, you can see uh, mark order shipped basically and uh, the accounting will show um, all of the orders so this was just to show how much uh, merchandise was sold and how much uh, it cost to um, order uh, parts from the suppliers <coughs> and uh, that is that is pretty much it uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this project um, yeah, that's the key points. Um, major, the major things I think I covered. So uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, and thank you. Bye.